Hey, how's it going guys and welcome back. Today we're going to be checking out the location of all the mini kits in LEGO The Incredibles chapter number 4. So, let's just jump straight into it. The first one is actually going to be right here at the beginning of the level. We want to backtrack into this hallway where all these eyeballs are that they keep watching us. And we want to destroy all 10 of these eyeballs and then the mini kit will appear in the room just here to our left. The second one is going to be in the very same room. All we need to do is get a character that has the tracking ability, then just follow the trail as usual and it will lead us to the next minikit. Yet again, in the same room, we're going to go over here to the left and use this arcade machine. And if we manage to shoot down five of these orange spaceships, it will give us one more mini kit. Still very close by, for number 4 we're going to need a character with the bomb ability and we need to destroy all 5 of these silver machines. So the first one is going to be over here by the um, the hallway. All of these are very easy to find but we'll be showing the location just in case. Um, the second one is just up here a little bit further towards us here on the left hand side corner. The third one is over here to the right as you can see here on the far end. The fourth one is going to be in the right hand side corner. And the fifth and final machine is going to be at the end of this little maze, which isn't really too complicated to get to. And that is going to give us the mini kit. So as for the fifth mini kit, we need to backtrack in this very same maze, it's just a little bit, and it's going to be hidden behind one of these bookshelves. Again, very easy to find. Now once we have the fifth one, we want to continue advancing through the level until we get to this staircase just here. And instead of breaking through the, the wall like we're supposed to, we want to get a character with crawl and we want to go down the stairs to the left. And up here we're going to find another mini kit. Now I did this next one in a bit of a weird order because I didn't know the other one was there yet. But um, just at the bottom of the staircase again, if we use Mr. Incredible, we can break through this wall and there's going to be another mini kit waiting for us. Um, but the reason I said this is in a bit of a weird order because if we go back up to the top where we use the crawl ability, there's actually going to be another mini kit that I didn't realize until a little bit afterwards. So you could just grab both of them while you're up there the first time. There's no need to go back down. And um, once we get up here where the previous mini kit was, you can jump across this platform and there's going to be another ledge here with some fire on it. Here we want to switch to someone with the ice ability to put out the flames. And behind there, we're going to find the eighth mini kit. For number 9, it's going to be in the second section of this chase with um, Screen Slave, I believe his name is. Over here to the left behind these boxes, we're going to find the ninth mini kit. For the 10th and final collectible, we need to get to the area where we knock the elevator down. And here, instead of continue forwards like we're supposed to, we want to use Elastigo to stretch through the vent. And here, we're going to find the 10th and final mini kit of the level. So, I hope you did find this video helpful, guys. If you did, don't forget to the thumbs up button, subscribe for more content, and we will see you next time.